Hi friends, welcome back to the channel, Faith and Arrow Homestead. My name is Jaylee, and in a recent video, I announced to you guys that I have been hired by my local church to help them start their community garden project. And that's where I am today. I'm at the church in my office, well, the garden office, and I just wanted to share with you a little bit about what's happening on this project. Um, I came and I announced it to you, but I didn't really give you any details. Now, I do want to say that until things are going in the ground, I don't want to say that anything is set in stone because in projects like this, things change. Um, and this, this, what I'm going to share with you has changed many times at this point. I do feel at this point that we're getting pretty close to actually moving forward with what I'm going to share with you. And that's part of the reason why I feel comfortable sharing it with you, because I do think that what I'm going to tell you today is very likely going to be what happens. Um, but as with any project, home building, business starting, garden creating, it changes as you go, right? And you just have to have grace, for yourself, grace for the other people involved, grace for the project itself, and just say, okay, Lord, you know, open hands, what do you want this to be? And sometimes there's a bit of a process in getting there, and that's what this has been. So I just am going to do, so right now I'm standing in front of the window. This office looks directly out at where the, the garden is gonna go, which I think is amazing. Um, so I'm, I'm standing in front of it. I'm just gonna do a quick little spin. I'm not gonna focus too much because there are some details in here that I don't wanna share yet, but I do wanna show you this room because it is the ultimate think tank. It is so cool. So here we go. <laughs> oh yeah, baby, look at that board. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Isn't that cool? There's so much good stuff in here. I love coming in here and just looking around because oh, these walls are just full of mine and Kim's um, ideas and visions and plans and oh, that big whiteboard that you saw that was the last thing that you saw when I was spinning, that are, that's our phases. So we have this project right now split into phase one, phase two, and phase three. Phase one is basically the construction of everything um, and everything that goes into that. And then phase two is basically all of next year, um, all of the planting and the harvesting and processing and sharing of the harvest, um, as well as what we're going to be doing to get ready for the following year. Um, things like drip irrigation and um, a few other things. And then phase three is the, the, it was the square on the end that had the least amount of stuff because um, that's going to kind of be where we go, okay, we got through one full year of this garden. Where, where is it going from here? We've left it kind of open so that we can dream. And as the Lord plants seeds with us, we can let them um, sit and develop and marinate on the board. So um, yeah. Oh, and then up at the top, I don't want to like let you focus on it too much because I think there are probably some things in here that I, we don't want to share. Uh, on YouTube, but at the top here, we have a very rough um, timeline that Kim has created uh, where she has placed like, we're gonna order this here, this is being delivered here, this is being constructed here so that we can keep up with all of it. And then over here on this wall, this was really more visual dreaming. Um, you can see we've got some products over there that we just ha have been able to kind of like look at and think about and kind of visually see them and um, sit on them and think on them. Um, and so that's been really cool. There is one thing over here that I do want to directly show you and talk about, and that is this thing. So I created this and basically what this is, it's to scale because you know what, actually, before I talk about that, hang on, before I talk about that, let's come over here and have a little chat. So, because I don't think I mentioned this in the announcement video. So where we're at right now in terms of what I think we are doing the first thing that I know we're doing is that this project is going to have a 100 foot by 100 foot square, and that's going to be the main garden compound. It's going to have some sort of fence around it. The fencing has been a pain in my butt. Haven't figured that out yet. Um, it's going to have some sort of fence. It's going to have three gates, and um, in the center of it, we have, I can't remember, what did we decide on, 80 or 90? I don't have the PO in here, and it changed 
so many times, 80 or 90 raised garden beds. I can't remember which one we ended up ordering. A um, lot of raised garden beds, all of them four by eight. And then from there, they vary either a foot tall or two feet tall because we wanted to make sure that everything was accessible uh, for people. So um, lots of raised garden beds in that 100 by 100 foot square compound. In the center of that uh, uh, garden compound, there's going to be, I think, a greenhouse. And then um, we are also doing a high tunnel. I am pretty sure we're doing the Farmer's Friend Haven High Tunnel. Um, and we're doing it. So those are 16 feet wide. And I'm pretty sure we're doing the 96 feet long um, option on that one. And I'm pretty sure we're doing the Dutch door in the front and the double zipper end wall in the back. Um, I think. <laughs> I keep saying that because that's what it's looking like it's going to be. And it just we will have to wait and see what actually ends up being ordered and being installed. But I will say that I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that that 100 foot by 100 foot um, garden compound is is what it is. It's going where it's going. And we I was actually just talking with the company that we're hiring yesterday, talking to them about getting the ground leveled. So what they're doing is they're going to come in, they're going to level the ground, which luckily the area we're putting in is already pretty flat, but they're going to come in and just level it. And then they're going to put down a uh, really nice quality landscape fabric. I they told me what it's called yesterday. I can't remember. Really good, tough, durable one. They're going to put um, crushed stone on top of that. We are going to have our garden boxes installed and then once the garden boxes are in place, they're going to come back and lay down pea gravel. Um, pea gravel will just be really nice. Manage people can walk on it, wheelchairs can be on it, you know, etc. Strollers and things like that. So that'll work out nicely. That'll be really nice. It'll look really clean and nice. Um, that is like what everything I just said is like pretty for sure happening. Um, it hasn't happened yet but I'm pretty sure that's happening. And then the high tunnel, I also think is pretty for surely happening. Um, we've picked the location for that. And when the company was here yesterday, I was talking to them about what I want to do for ground prep for that. Um, the greenhouse, I am also like, I'm going to say like 80% sure that's happening. Not because I don't think it's happening. I think we're going to have a greenhouse. I think I just don't feel as sure saying it because there are a few pieces of that puzzle that I haven't figured out yet. Whereas we could move forward on the high tunnel and move forward on the garden compound unimpeded. We're good to go. Everything's been figured out. We're ready to, to make a move on that. It's just that it needs to get in front of a few other people first. But the greenhouse, there's still some pieces to that that I actually haven't tracked down yet. And I'm working on that. So that's the only reason that I say like 80%. Um, only because in my brain, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to play out yet. But we don't need it right away either. The purpose of the greenhouse is to start seeds. Um, and we want... We really want to start seeds for this project, but that's a big deal. And, you know, not every farm or market garden or business starts their stuff from seed. A lot of places, flower farms and things like that, they'll order started plants or plugs. Um, and that's fine. That's totally acceptable. We could do that. That's an option. But I feel very strongly about starting seeds because we're talking so much about sustainability and um, uh, being regenerative and um, I don't know I just think that if we had the infrastructure to be able to start our seeds that lends itself more to the vision than having to rely on a company to purchase them from every year yeah I think I feel I feel right about that I think so anyway that's that's really why we're pursuing the greenhouse and um, this a lot of this project is about um, visibility because people have been investing their money in this um, for a couple years now. And, you know, we the church has been talking about doing this project for a couple years now and have done a couple hope offerings and people have given their money for this project. So it's really important to us that we roll it out in a way that people feel uh, a sense of hope surrounding it and a sense of action surrounding it and to have a, the greenhouse it's going to be a it's the one that we've chosen is really nice and it's going to be heated and and it's going to have a concrete floor and everything um for people to be able to go in there in say march when it's you know snowing and cold and they're just feeling this 
anxiousness for springtime to be able to go into the greenhouse that they've invested in and see all of the seed starts out there and to see things grow and for the volunteers to be able to come help start the seeds and et cetera, et cetera. It's just really a level of hope and involvement that I think is really important for this project. And that's the kind of stuff that we're being very careful to think about as we think about this project, as we make decisions about this project, because you know, at the end of the day, this garden is for the people. It really is. I mean, it's for the glory of God and it is for his people to be able to enjoy and experience him and his creation. And so we're always thinking about how can we make this, how can we do this in a way that people can experience it? And so I think the greenhouse will really accomplish that because we went back and forth. It wasn't originally going to be a greenhouse. It was actually originally. So so here's this, we can come back to this now. Um, this in the center was originally going to be this. So we were going to have a pavilion where people could come. This is right at the center of the garden compound and people would be able to come and sit and they still will be able to because we're gonna have benches and stuff all throughout. That's like what these little squares are here. But this is now gonna be a greenhouse and I think that that's gonna be just as special in its own way. So anyway, back to what I was saying. This is, um, I made this, this is to scale. So I, this was a pain. I counted out, There's, it's to scale. Each little square is a foot. And so this was the layout that I ended up with. Um, and I've had lots of people ask, I think that that's probably the number one question that I've been asked about this project is, why so many raised garden beds? Why are you not just growing in the ground? And we will be growing in the ground in the high tunnel. So there will still be some of that. And we've got other ideas for phase three and future phases where perhaps we'll have more in-ground growing space somewhere else. It really just depends. Um, we'll see what happens. But no, this is this is special. This is an experience. This is, yes, it's for food production, but it's also meant for people to walk in and just have an experience. And so we've got, this is the main gate down here. This is the gate that faces the church and the parking lot. So this will be like the main gate. And then we've got a gate over here and a gate over here. And um, you'll be able to walk right in. And these, these beds are purposely facing this way so that you'll walk along them. And it's like that at all the gates here. So you'll be able to walk in along the beds and either direction you walk in leads you to the center, which will be the greenhouse. And then all throughout here, there are going to be benches. And we've had the idea of having the, we're gonna have bees. We're thinking about having the bees in the corners. And, um, and then, we wanted to be able to get in between the rows with the side-by-side -side, and we, it, the side-by-side -side has like a little wagon trailer. That'll be really helpful for harvesting. We can put boxes in the trailer and, and drive around and like do the harvesting. That'll make it a lot easier on everybody. So most of these rows are six feet apart, I wanna say, so that we can get the side-by-side -side through. Um, but we did leave a few because um, arch trellises were very important to me. I really put my foot down on that. And I was like, no, we're going to have some arch trellises in this garden. So um, they wanted to be able to get the side by side down through the four main paths. And so right on the other side of those main paths where you're walking will be the arch trellises. So right when you walk in at any of the areas, you'll still see the arch trellises. I had envisioned walking in under them and it didn't end up working out that way logistically, but it'll be right next to the main paths. Does that make sense? Um, so people will still be able to experience the arch trellises, which I love. Um, and like I said, the benches and everything, there's a few areas where we could do little tables and chairs and stuff if we wanted to. And, um, yeah. So anyway, that was the purpose for that. Could this whole thing have just been one big in ground garden? Yeah, for sure. It could have been. And I do want to point that out going forward. As I share things about this project, I really want you, I'm open to different perspectives and different ideas and different takes, but I want you to know that the saying, there's more than one way to skin a cat really applies here. And so I just hope that you understand that this, all the decisions that we make are being thoroughly considered and researched and thought about. And we're not doing anything like on a whim. All the decisions that we make, we're really thinking, does this fit the vision? Does this fit practically? Does this fit in the budget? Does this fit how people are going to experience, you know, yada, yada. We're really thinking about it. And so you may come in and hear something that I say and be like, oh, I would not. Why are you doing it like that? Like, that's not how I would do it. 
And sure, you're more than welcome to share your perspective or your thoughts, but I'm not going to respond to rude or scathing comments because there's more than one way to do this. And just because the way that we're choosing is different than the way that you would choose does not mean the way that we're doing it is wrong. Um, and it may just be that you don't have all of the pieces of the puzzle that we're considering and that go into us making a decision. And there's so many ways to garden, you guys. Oh my gosh. There's so many different ways to garden. I mean, just for an example, I, I'll just give you an example. I agonized over heated high tunnel versus unheated high tunnel plus greenhouse agonized over that. <laughs> and I researched so many things and talked to so many companies and reached out to some YouTubers who do one option versus I had so many conversations about that before we settled on unheated high tunnel heated greenhouse. You may not agree with that. That was not made on the fly, that decision. <laughs> that, I agonized over that decision. So anyway, I just say all of, all of that to say that as we move forward and as I share, you know, I'm, I'm really opening up not only myself, but this whole project to criticism. And I just want you to know that we're praying about this. We're talking about this extensively. We're agonizing over every little decision and we're moving forward um, on things that we have peace about and um, that feel right for us in our spirit. And, you know, this is Jesus's project and we're very much trying to listen to him. And let me tell you, who baby, does he, he really <laughs> shows up. Like it's, it's actually insane. So there are a few things um, where I've been like, oh, 10 four, that's what we're doing. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so <laughs> I don't know. I think I just wanted to come on here and kind of share with you a little bit about what we've decided um, and kind of where we're at. We've not broken ground on anything yet. We're definitely still in the PO writing, um, getting approval stage, and um, but soon, very soon, because we want to get some things in the ground. We want to plant the high tunnel this fall. We want to get some of those raised beds planted this fall. There are some crops, and I'll share with you when we start doing them, that we're going to plant this fall. And um, yeah, and so on the days where these things start happening, when the companies come here and brown, ground is being broken and things are being built, I will be filming and taking you along. And I know that the church is too. I don't know yet exactly what that looks like. I don't know who's filming it. I don't know, um, you know, am I going to be talking in any of that? Is it really just going to be more like quiet footage? Where is it going to be uploaded? I don't know any of that yet, but um, I will, if there's ever any content posted about the garden anywhere other than on my channel, I'm going to share it with you so that you can follow along with that as well. And um, I'll just keep coming and giving you little updates because this project is so, so much fun. It's so much fun. I have been saying this week though, because I, this week I worked my hours that I've been hired for, but I, um, it was all computer work, every single bit of it, except for that meeting that I had outside with the, that one company, all of it was computer work. And I'm just not, I'm not good at, I'm not good at sitting and staring at a laptop for five hours at a time. Not my strong suit, guys. <laughs> and so I had said to a couple people that I had that conversation with this week, I was like, I can't wait for this to transition out there. <laughs> because it's not always going to be computer work. It just is right now because we're in the planning stage and there will still always be some, but predominantly I'm going to be out here. It's going right here. This area here, you can see how tall it is. It needs to get mowed down. This is where the garden compound is. And then this strip here, I'm so bad at doing that pointy thing. This strip here, is where the high tunnel's going. So they'll be like adjacent to each other. But yeah, I can't wait to be out here instead of in here staring at a laptop all day. That's not what I, that's not bringing my little gardener heart joy, <laughs> but that's okay. So anyway, thanks so much for coming and letting me chat about this with you a little bit. And I can't wait to see you in my next one. Have faith and keep moving forward. Bye.